welcome to my evening routine. I'm really excited about this. I don't normally do this style of video, so bear with me, um, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. This was kind of like late afternoon, early evening, and I had just been answering emails, doing work, filming, mundane, boring things. My room had got out of control, as we can see. So I was just sort of going around, tidying it up, sorting things out and finding a home for all of my many clothes. My bed has this incredible under bed storage, so I tend to keep a lot of things under there, um, as you can see me struggling to lift it up. And yeah, it was looking a lot better by the end. Also, by the way guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, I'm going to leave all of my links below. If you are new here, then hello, welcome, check out some of my other videos. Okay, so next up I'm basically just going to do a little bit of a hair mask. I don't do this all the time, but I'm trying to get into it a little bit more and look after my hair. So I'm just using my Tangle Teaser, brushing it through, a bit of mane and tail detangler. And then I'm going to go in with this OGX Coconut Miracle Oil um, hair mask, which smells amazing. Honestly, it smells incredible. And I'm going to apply that all over my hair, right from the ends and work it all the way up to the top of my head actually. This is something super easy you can do in the evening just to sit in your hair while you're making dinner or something. I'm then just going to spray it over with a little bit of the detangler and put it back into a bun. Okay guys, now for dinner. So I'm going to have one of these Dash drinks. They're really, really good while I'm making my dinner. And tonight I'm going for a salmon and teriyaki noodles dish. Now, as most of you guys know, I am pescatarian. Um, I do eat fish very rarely, but I just really fancied this teriyaki salmon. Obviously, for any of my vegetarian viewers out there, you could just change it out for some tofu or something like that. Um, I'm going to make this little sauce to go on the salmon. I'm just using salt and pepper, chilies and soy sauce. And I'm literally just going to drizzle that all over the salmon. I like quite a lot of chilies, as we can see. We had run out of tin foil, so I'm just using baking paper for this. Um, and then I put that in the oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. Next up, I just randomly really fancied some of this like wilted spinach. So I'm just adding some garlic, spinach and oil in a pan, letting that kind of simmer. I'm gonna go in with salt and pepper and add some soy sauce. Then I'm just going to add in some sesame seeds. I've taken the salmon out of the oven now and I'm going to pop that into this wok and I'm going to add my teriyaki sauce. Oh my gosh, I love teriyaki sauce. Um, and let that kind of simmer and cook away, get nice and sticky and sweet. I'm not going to eat both pieces of this salmon, by the way. I'm saving another piece for my lunch tomorrow. Um, then I'm going to add the noodles. These are just those super easy, like two minute in the wok noodles. And then add my sesame seeds here is my dish i was very excited and proud of it guys um and then as you can see i'm just sitting here with my drink and my dinner with my mum my mum's actually next to me and we're just talking and kind of watching the tv now i'm cleaning up the kitchen i couldn't help but pick up buddy and show you guys him because he's so cute um, and then I was going to have a bit of a snack. I completely forgot to have this before my dinner, so I decided to have it after. Just some sweet chilli sauce and some prawn crackers. My dad also came in the shot and my mum was there and we were just having a nice little chilled out chat. Okay, now to have a bath. I don't do this every evening, but honestly, guys, it really does help if you want to have a good night's sleep. I'm adding some of my favourite products. We've got some rituals here, my purple shampoo and conditioner. I'm also going to add in some Epsom salt. It's really good if you work out a lot and your muscles start to hurt. And then just some of my favourite luxury bath products. 
Also love these like brushes for your body to kind of like help the circulation. They're really great. And I'm also gonna light a candle. I'm obsessed with matches at the minute. So I had to show you guys my little box of matches. My sister got me this candle for my birthday and it is beautiful. I believe it's from John Lewis. I'll try and link it below. And then decided to treat myself and have this little um, bottle of Prosecco in the bath. I didn't finish it all, but I love Prosecco and this is a really nice pinky one. So I had some of that. Don't know who I thought I was this evening. Obviously very glam. Then just gonna sit and watch The Sinner. If anyone has watched this yet, I'm obsessed with this show. Then I just came out of the bath. I looked at the lady with the lamp, there I am. Florence Nightingale, eat your heart out, babe. Um, and I'm just gonna take off my towel. I did put my hair in a bun just because I didn't want it to go in the horrible bath water. Oh yeah, give it a good scratch on. And I'm literally just gonna put in some of my mane and tail detangler. I love this stuff. It really helps my hair from getting too knotty. And then just adding like a conditioning, leave-in conditioner type product um, or argan oil or Moroccan oil, whatever you wanna use. Cheers guys. I love these pajamas from Pretty Little Thing. They're so comfy and I'm obsessed with them. Okay, now for a little bit of skincare. This sort of changes every evening. So I'm just showing you a very brief sort of evening routine with my skincare. I'm just going in with an oily makeup remover to get rid of my mascara. Sometimes I use like an oil cleanser. I'm then gonna use that La Roche-Posay cleanser. It's not my favorite one, but it was what was available. I like to just continuously spray my face as well with like those kind of mist things. And I'm gonna go in with my Pixie Glow Tonic. Guys, this honestly has helped my skin so much. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Just be careful with it under your eyes. Don't go too crazy um, because it's quite strong, I'd say. But, oh, I love this stuff. And then I'm gonna go in with some La Roche-Posay. I think it's meant to be like an anti-wrinkle serum, but it feels really nice on the skin, super hydrating. So I use that some evenings. And of course, my Elemis Pro Collagen Moisturizer. I love this stuff, but guys, I've basically run out of it and I'm so sad. It is the nicest moisturizer. So one of you guys would tell me you could get it on QVC for a little bit less money. So I'm kind of interested in doing that. Then I'm just gonna go in and moisturize my body. I'm using the Neutrogena Moisturizer and also this that came in a glossy box. It's meant to extend your tan for a bit longer. Because the weather was so nice, I thought I would give it a go. I try and moisturize as much as I can because my skin gets quite dry. Okay, now onto hair. I was gonna leave it, but I wanted to go to sleep and it's not good to sleep with wet hair. So I'm going in with my Dyson. Guys, the more I use this, the more I love it. I'm really sorry, I know it's pricey. Um, by the way, this wasn't gifted. My mum bought this and yeah, it's spenny, but I'm obsessed. I also kind of tried out this brush thing, but I wasn't really the best at it, as we can quite clearly see. Um, I didn't really dry my hair completely dry. I just wanted to get it a lot more dry than it usually is. Oh, also I'm obsessed with this um, country singer at the moment called Chris Lane. So I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. I'm always listening to country music. I have a country playlist on my Spotify, which I should probably try and make public. I'm now just gonna put my blinds down, say goodnight to the world. And I've actually been trying to do a little bit more reading lately. So yeah, I'm gonna get into bed, take all of the pillows I have on my bed, drink some water, keep hydrated kids. Also, I sleep with my hair up. I cannot sleep with my hair down, but I only ever use scrunchies. I just feel like they're so much better on my hair, especially because my hair is very fine and very thin. I'm now just gonna write a to-do list. I know this is a little bit crazy, but I've been doing it since I was probably about 10 and I love them. They really help me be productive the next day and also not to forget anything. 
because I forget everything. So just a little to-do list. And then my favorite thing to do at the moment, especially during lockdown when we're all feeling some type of way, is to write in my diary. No, guys, you will not get a little sneak peek in there, but I've been doing this for about four years now and it's honestly like changed my life. That's about it. All I've got to do is brush my teeth, take my lenses out and say goodnight.